you're on the fence, right? I mean, you're watching my videos, you're watching Dave's videos, the other guy's videos, you're doing a lot of research and great job, by the way. And by now you're thinking, yeah, final expense sales, mm, that looks good. I think I'm gonna do well with this. Let's talk some truths about final expense sales and some things that you actually need to be aware of. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what it takes to be successful in our industry so that you can make the right choice. And I'm gonna be go, going over captive versus being independent. Uh, we're also gonna touch on, well, face-to-face -face sales versus final expense telesales. And that way, you're gonna be able to decide, is selling final expense insurance actually for you? Coming right up, so stick around. I'm Doug Massey, and please allow me to share with you something that you're gonna definitely need, whether you're selling final expense face-to-face uh, -face, or if you go the telesales route. The free new agent starter kit. Now, this zip file has sales materials you're definitely gonna wanna use while you're making your final expense sales presentation. And I'm gonna ask that you stick around. Yeah, you gotta hang out all the way to the end of the video. And at that point, I'm gonna show you how to get this bad boy for yourself. One of the first things that you're gonna need to decide is, are you gonna go an independent route or do you wanna be with a captive agency? This is important because in most cases, you're actually better off, and this is just my opinion, of course, but you're actually better off going the captive route. What? Nobody's holding me captive. Do I look like I wanna be a hostage to you? The reason I think starting as a captive agent is usually better is because you'll get face-to-face -face training. At least you should, let me just put it that way. And you'll have someone who is standing right next to you teaching you the process. At least that's what you're supposed to get as a captive final expense agent. And also very important, when you're captive, you're being accountable. And to me, this is really important. Believe it or not, most people need micromanaging to force them to work. I know, you may not believe it, but it's true. Otherwise, they'll tend to not do very much before they up and quit. I'm old school, guys. As far as I'm concerned, what's most important is training. Being properly trained is the key to success when you don't know what the bleep you're doing, at least. And some of the negative aspects of going to the captive route is that your commission level is gonna be much lower than being independent. Um, you know, you're most likely gonna to have to wait at least two years before you're even vested. So what is this vesting vested term? Well, in layman's terms, vesting is simply when your client becomes yours and when the back end money and renewals become yours too. So if you walk away during your first two years from a company that you're captive with, some of these guys take three years, if you're expecting back-end money from your sales, you know, uh, you've already been advanced usually nine months or 75% of your first year's unearned commission. When that month 10, 11, and 12 come around, you don't get nothing. It goes to the company if you leave them early, that is. The biggest final expense company that does this is Lincoln, Hostage, uh, Lincoln Heritage. So let's talk about being an independent agent. But first guys, this is when I'm gonna ask that you smash down on that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you definitely wanna do that now. We are putting out new final expense sales content every single week. Seriously guys, every single week. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's right. With companies like ours, United Final Expense Services, you are truly an independent agent and you're treated as so. As an independent agent, you're gonna need to get at least $2,000 to get through your first month for you know, the final expense direct mail leads. While you're making your first sales, cutting through your learning curve and figuring out our business. And as I mentioned earlier, your commission levels should be higher than that of a captive agent you're vested on the first day. And if you're working with me, I'm not gonna stand on top of you. I'm not going to micromanage you at all. It's all up to you. Now, I'll be there anytime you need me, don't get me wrong. I'm just not gonna hold your bleeping hand. And you'll have access to everything you need, training-wise, to be successful. However, you really need to be self-motivated 
uh, good at working on your own, and maybe the type of person that gets shit done without having to have someone stand on top of them telling them when and what to do. And this is how most independent companies work. Insurance agency like the Alliance, Securus, Equus, and even Family First Life all do something like this. You know, they, they basically all treat you like an independent agent. They all have their own online training platform. And like us, they do weekly training calls, but just beware. These type of multi-level marketing insurance agencies often won't give you full commissions, like not even close in most cases, like, well, at least not like what we do. Meanwhile, they might tell you that you are starting at their 100% commission level, which you realize later is kind of bullshit because most of their products are actually going to pay you a lot less than 100% first year commission. If you decide you want to leave one of these companies, they most likely will not sign a general release agreement. You will have to go six months without writing business with any carrier, put it that way, that you want to move to a different agency. And with like Mutual of Omaha, for instance, once you wait the six months, you get your contract moved. Mutual of Omaha will actually make you wait an additional six months before they increase your commission level up to that new level. Don't be mad at me. That's their policy. It's not mine. Some of the MLM companies I just mentioned might even tell you that you're an independent agent and that they'll say, it's no problem. You know, if you need to be released to go somewhere else, hey, we got no problem with that. And then later you'll find out it's not true and they're not gonna simply release you to go sell with a different insurance marketing organization only to end up competing against them. Let's talk a little bit about selling final expense over the phone versus selling face to face. In order to sell final expense over the phone and have really any chance of being successful, you better be okay with working on the phone five days a week, eight hours a day, starting on day one. If you think you're going to sell final expense over the phone part-time while learning how to do it, while making money, you're probably eh, pretty wrong. Look, 80% of the people that try to learn any new business, not just final expense, but any new business on a part-time basis, 80% of them fail. When it comes to selling final expense on a face-to-face -face basis, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, working full time is gonna be your best bet at getting through the learning curve and getting good enough to have, you know, immediate quick success. Only you're not stuck in your home office all day long with the phone glued to your head. And with face-to-face -face final expense sales, you'll need to door knock all of your leads, at least in the beginning for the first few months. That's just, that's the way it works. Door knocking is going to be the key to your success, whether you're working final expense Facebook leads, telemarket leads, or the best lead in the industry, the final expense direct mail lead. And after you've mastered the art of door knocking leads, and you know, really you made a lot of sales, a lot of progress, that's when you want to start considering, you know, whether you want to pick up the phone and start calling to set your appointments. You need to be patient with yourself while you're learning how to do this. And you'll really want to be calling direct mail leads. Direct mail leads are the most effective leads for selling final expense face to face. And you know, in my opinion, the only way you'll have serious success in our industry is to have at least 20 to 30 fixed cost final expense direct mail leads every single week. Final expense Facebook leads are a great lead to start with while you're learning, but it's imperative for your success that is a as a face-to-face -face agent at least. You really wanna start working direct mail leads within your first month or two of getting into the business. The direct mail leads cost around 35 bucks each. So if you wanna make a couple thousand dollars each week, that is easily doable, as long as you don't mind spending a thousand bucks a week on leads. That's really what separates the children from the adults in our industry. The goal to final expense sales is to triple your weekly leads investment, whether you're selling over the phone or belly to belly. For a copy of the free new agent starter kit, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. And guys, if you'd like more information on joining our agency, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now, get out there 
and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.